Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here to talk about cancers. Cancers are such interesting people. I have so much to say about cancers because I have a lot of cancers in my life actually and a lot of great cancers in my life. One in particular, my grandma. I'm super, super close to my grandma and she's a cancer and she's the definition of a cancer because she's the best grandma in the world. And so I want to send a little shout out to my nana. Hey nana, how you doing? And if you're new to my channel and haven't seen any astrology videos, um, just quickly I like to say this in the beginning that cancer, if you are a cancer, you are not only a cancer, you also have a moon, a rising, and a whole birth chart you can generate your birth chart in the description box I have a link to a good website that I trust if you're not a cancer but you still feel like some of these things fit you it's possible that you have a strong cancer influence in your birth chart so like I said check out that birth chart if you want to know more about astrology past the 12 zodiac signs and bullshit magazine horoscopes and want to actually look into actual astrology I do have a video that can kind of um, introduce you to it and I will put that in the description box as well and if you are proud to be a cancer or proud to be whatever sign you are I do sell astrology merch in my shop which helps support my channel so I'll put a link below to that and you can get yourself a cancer AF shirt as a birthday present because all of you if you are a cancer watching this you have just had a birthday so happy birthday to you go treat yourself anyway let's get started so cancer is a water sign and the other two water signs are Scorpio and Pisces so if you are Scorpio Pisces you might identify to a lot of the cancer traits Cancer though is ruled by the moon, which is so cool. I want to know guys if you are a cancer How much time do you spend looking at the moon? Like do you think you have a special connection with the moon? I've seen some cancers just stare at the moon and just gaze up at it I think they are very affected by the moon as well because I've noticed behavior changes in cancers around full moons and stuff So that's definitely something that can affect them The moon is definitely gonna affect them more than other people and some famous cancers are Ariana Grande Vin Diesel Jaclyn Hill Tom Cruise Missy Elliott, Hobson, Elisa Cara, Lele Pons, Drew Monson, Post Malone, Andrea Russett, 50 Cent, Tana Mo- I'm never gonna get that name right. Tana Mojo. Is it Mojo? Am I stupid? Is there, There's an N in there, so I don't know Mong you. Tana Mojo. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop trying there. Khloe Kardashian, Jaden Smith, Selena Gomez, Shane Dawson, MIA, Kevin Hart, Chandler Riggs, Jen McAllister, Luke Bryan, Lil' Kim, Ashley Tisdale, Lana Del Rey, Robin Williams, Lindsay Lohan, Chris Pratt, and Tom Hanks. I like most of the celebrities on that list a lot. And there's a reason why, because cancers are awesome. When you look into cancer as a zodiac sign, if you like Google it, it's gonna say they're like really sensitive and emotional, but they get kind of a bad rap for being like crybabies. <laughs> Ready? How do I look? I mean, I look like a my dog just died. <laughs> Emotions can come across in so many different ways. If you tell someone they're emotional, it doesn't mean you're a sad, sobbing mess over in the corner. It can also mean that when you're happy, you're really, really happy. When you're sad, you're pretty sad. They go up and down and up and down and they feel the feels more than anyone else feels the feels, if that makes sense. Oh, baby. They make decisions with emotion. They are led by emotion. They literally have an inner roller coaster going on at all times, an emotional roller coaster. And this makes them come across as moody. Don't you be ruined snappy. my mood already. And they definitely are. They are up sometimes, down sometimes, sad, happy, frustrated, angry. Like they feel the emotions and they act on emotion. And if you are a Cancer, you probably understand what I'm trying to say because you feel things more than everyone else does. And if you didn't know that, maybe that explains a lot of shit in your life. Somebody asked me a while ago what's the one thing you wish people knew about you and I said I wanted it to be my heart that's why maybe you seem to take things more seriously than other people do or you're called out for being oversensitive it's not your fault that is the way that you are and you just feel more than the rest of us in fact 
Cancers, just like Pisces and Scorpios, have intuitiveness. Some of them can straight up be psychic, um, but I think they're all low-key psychic, like maybe they're not predicting full events, but they dream things that come true. Strange coincidence will happen where they like talk about something and then it'll happen. Maybe they predict that something's gonna happen before it does. Even like something little or like when something does happen, they're like, I knew that was gonna happen. I told you that was gonna happen because they just have a sense. And they're also very um, in tune with other people's emotions. And like, sometimes it's hard to be a Cancer. That's why I, I love them so much. Like I have such a place in my heart for Cancers because I know it's not the easiest thing to be. As a Cancer, they feel everyone else's emotions. They can tell when other people are sad. Like, let's say they're in a group of people and one person said something that was sort of offensive and everyone else kind of laughs at it, but one person in the group was low key like, wait. What? That kind of offended me. A Cancer will pick up on how that other person's feeling when everyone else doesn't even see it. Cancers think about everyone else and their feelings all the time. Like maybe in the morning when you're showering, you're you know thinking about your day and yourself and your plans. A Cancer is most likely thinking about how everyone else is doing and oh, I haven't heard from that person. I wonder if they're okay. And I hope they're, they're just, they want everyone to be happy so bad and they just feel everyone's emotions so strongly. Like I can't even describe it enough. And this is something that Pisces and Scorpios deal with as well. It is hard. It's, it takes an emotional toll on them. It can't listen to someone's sad story and then just be like, oh well, that sucks for you anyway, my life's fine. No, they are going to take that and put it on themselves. So a lot of the times there's always something kind of dampening a cancer. But it makes them such good friends because when they listen to you, like if you have a problem or if you just want to bitch about someone, a cancer is going to be there to bitch to. They actually low-key enjoy it. Like I think cancers kind of like drama. That's why they like reality TV because they're just dramatic and emotional people. But when you have problems and you talk to a cancer, about it they're helpful they're strong they can be strong for you they're really really there for you like they're good people to talk to about anything like that like you're so lucky if you have someone in your life that's a cancer that's really close to you because they'll just always be there for you to listen and to guide you and to always take your side they're so loyal that if one of their family members that they love killed someone they might even help them cover it up that's how dedicated to you a cancer is it's you it's you it's all for you everything I do and they're sympathetic so when they're listening to you they understand they can give you compassion and it's true it's not just like you know kind of waiting for you to stop bitching so we can change the subject they want to be there for you and they want you to feel okay and they want to help you and when you talk to them they're understanding they're not gonna judge you you can tell them the weirdest things about you and they're just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like they really don't judge other people unless it's someone that's wronged someone in there you know, inner circle or their family or something. But they're understanding and they're just some of the sweetest people. They're a great person to talk to when you're having an issue. In fact, if you want to talk deep about anything, go talk to a Cancer because some of the best conversations I've ever had in my life have been with Cancers because, I don't know, they're just so, they can go so Deep. Other people will tune out after a while, but not a cancer. They're they're like in it and they're gonna listen to you. They're the most nurturing signs. They make excellent mothers, fathers. I'm so protective. Even to like their friends, even if they don't have kids, they'll be like the one that brings the snacks along in the group. You know, the cancer's the one that's gonna make sure everyone else applied a nice layer of sunscreen. And like, if you have a cancer mom or you are a cancer mom or dad, you are so like lucky. You're where you're supposed to be. Like. The, the cancer need to be a parent is very apparent. And they want to take care of people, so a lot of them like to cook. And um, they're good homemakers. They make the house nice and feel nice and smell nice and look nice. They just want to take care of you. They want to give you a back massage. They want to help you when you're sick. They're the most nurturing people by far. And they have such attachment to family values, family traditions. They're sentimental, so like they'll hold on to really old shit for a long time because it means something to them. Or maybe they have a movie ticket from their first date. Like they love anniversaries, they like weddings, they like family values. So I was just talking to Kim and she was telling me that you weren't feeling like this trip was going the way that you would have wanted it to go. And we're not spending enough time, all of us, together. This is like time where I get to be with my sisters and you know, my nieces and nephews. That's why they're great partners and they're great parents. And cancers get very attached to people. Like it's very hard for them to let go of someone in their life. Even if it's a toxic person, they'll keep them around because once they're committed to someone, they're just really committed. Now one side of the cancer that's 
difficult is that they're very sensitive. They can take things very wrong. Like if you say something and you may not think it's necessarily a mean thing, a cancer might take it the, the completely wrong way. A lot of the time they think people don't like them and if they have like a serious fight with someone and some really choice hurtful words were said, they're gonna take those to heart more than just another person that might be able to be like, oh, well, it was just out of anger, so whatever. They're generally calm most of the time, um, unless they're feeling some emotions. But one thing about cancers is that they will like totally guilt trip you if they need something. Like, and they use emotional blackmail to get it. Like maybe you wanna do something or you wanna move to a different state, they're gonna guilt trip you into not going by being like, well, I'm your mom and I've taken care of you my whole life. And you know, they'll emotionally blackmail you big time. And one weakness of the cancer is that they can get into some serious self-pity. They are captain of the pity party, Dr. Doom, realist about things too. Like they see the world for what it is. They're not gonna be like, oh, well, everything's fine. Like they're like, nope, we're probably all gonna die. They, I've just noticed so many cancers have this like, life's a bitch and then you die attitude about things. They can just be so pessimistic like that and think negative things or like before something even happens, they're like, oh, it's not gonna work out well. Mm. But you know, on the other side, they're realists and most of the time they're right. Cancers are also very honest, um, especially with people that they love. They feel like they need to tell them the truth about something, even if it's not the thing that everyone wants to hear. And Cancers Man are super, super hardworking people. Like they have great work ethic. They, first of all, they're imaginative, so they're creative. They can come up with solutions to problems quickly. They know how to space out their time and use it wisely. Like other signs have qualities of being hardworking and having a strong work ethic, but it's different with a Cancer because they're motivated almost by punishing themselves. Like they think that they're lazy and terrible if they stop working. So sometimes they just work themselves to the bone and they never know when to stop. A lot of the times cancers can come across as shy or like homebodies, which a lot of them are, you know, cancer is the crab. So they're in their shell. They like to be home. So a lot of them stay at home a lot of the time. Um, it can be kind of hard for them to venture out, but when they do, they're actually really, really fun people. They definitely come across as more quiet and reserved when you first meet them, but soon you meet them and they are loud, they're funny. They are so funny. In fact, actually, I think cancers are the funniest sign of all of the signs. They have hot dogs. Now listen, I'm not dogging on, oh, dogging. <laughs> that pun was not even intended. I'm just gonna relish in the fact that it happened. Okay, sorry, I'll stop. Let us continue. Did you get it? Cancers make me laugh so much. They're so sarcastic, always making jokes. They're, they just say the funniest. And what I love about it is they can laugh at themselves. Like oftentimes most of their jokes are about themselves. Now one thing I just wanna say to Cancers watching this is that I know a lot of you guys are really, really insecure. Maybe about your physical appearance, maybe about just you as a person that you don't think you're good enough ever because Cancers are really, really tough on themselves. Cancers are definitely, I think, one of the most insecure signs. They're like very worried about their appearance and they just are very hard on themselves inside. They just wanna be liked and they're always worried people don't like them. If you're a Cancer out there, you need to learn eventually that you are enough, that not only are you enough, that you're awesome, that you have so many good traits to offer the world, you're funny, you're a great friend, you're an awesome person. Your emotionalness that everyone always gives cancer shit for is actually the coolest thing about you guys. You guys feel more than anyone else. When you watch a movie, you're in that movie. You are in the character's position. You experience life differently than the rest of us. Understand that, understand that you're not gonna be able to get the kind of emotion that you may want from other people because they're literally not capable of it. And because of this, and because of feeling like they're sometimes not understood, they sometimes end up getting depressed. Uh, a lot of cancers have depression. They overthink things a lot. Um, I guarantee you cancers, if you're thinking about something right now, you're probably overthinking it. I wish cancers would be less hard on themselves. I just have a special place in my heart for them because I know how much they take on and how much emotional stress they have. I just think they tend to not take care of themselves because they put others first and that's something you have to start doing. Cancers just need to realize that you need to help yourself before you can help other people because they always put themselves last. And we love you for that because you're good ass people but you gotta do it for yourself. You gotta start putting yourself first. I think that's the Cancer's greatest challenge, honestly. 
I don't think I've ever met a really bad cancer. I just, I don't think it's ever happened. You guys are good people, good friends, good partners, good parents. You guys are good and give yourself that recognition. Cause I know deep down you may not feel like you're good enough, but you are. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning about cancer. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you are a cancer and what you think about this video. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye.